Hello students. Now let us look at various uses of magnets. The first and foremost use of magnet is that in the case of navigation or we call it as magnetic compass. Okay, it's the oldest instrument which is being used and it's a vital tool for navigators. Navigation means you find directions with the help of magnetic compass it helps you to navigate through the sea it gives you the exact position where you are on the earth and where you should sail henceforth okay now here you see a magnetic compass now the important point about magnetic compass is that there is a graduated circular scale inside and there is a needle which can turn around now when this compass is kept horizontally or kept on a flat surface then this needle it orients itself in one particular direction only okay now the red painted portion of the needle is always pointing towards the north okay because this needle is magnetized it's a magnetic substance okay it is made of iron generally now if you turn the compass okay if you turn the compass or you rotate it on your hand or on your palm or on the flat surface then the direction of the needle does not change but this circular scale because of the rotation would change so as you know that this needle the red painted portion is pointing towards north so if you turn around the compass housing in such a way that the north and written on the circular scale coincides with the needle then you know for sure that this particular direction is north this particular direction is west this particular direction is east and the this particular direction is south okay now using the advanced type of magnetic compass we can navigate through seas using the direction given by the compass magnets are also used extensively in electronics every computer it has magnets which stores data on hard disk okay and certain type of display on the screen is with the help of some kind of magnetic phenomena okay magnets are also used in speakers which are attached to our computers televisions radios and the music system okay S special kind of magnetic strip is used in case of credit and debit cards magnets are used also in closing mechanism of handbags diaries and all which we had seen in the first few slides okay small magnets they form magnetic clasp clasp means closure mechanism on purses and bags okay because two aligned magnets are naturally attracted to each other okay it is also used in television the television monitors they are made with the help of magnets and one more important point is that magnets are also used in medicines some commonly used medical equip equipments x-rays and mris they use magnets now let us discuss one more small topic about how to find or how to use a magnetic compass for finding direction now we know that the red painted part of the needle okay here you see a wooden housing okay in which there is a compass magnetic compass okay and this is a housing okay 
Now this housing has circular portion in which the compass is fitted. Now this housing also has one particular direction line. Okay. Now we know that the red painted part of the needle of the compass it always points towards the north. Okay, this we have discussed just now. Now the housing of the compass can be rotated through a scale of 0 to 360 degree. Here you see a scale. This scale you can see inside the compass. Okay, now the housing which has compass in it can be rotated. Okay, now you can make this reference line to align with the 0 degree or with the 90 degree or with the 20 degree. Now with this reference line on the platform you can find direction. Now let us see how we can do it. Now let us say you wish to navigate your ship towards the northwest direction. That means exactly 45 degrees north of west or west of north. Now what we have to do as a first step is that we will turn the compass housing such that the northwest on the housing coincides with the travel arrow. This is travel arrow. Okay. Now you turn the housing in such a way that the here you can see southeast but let's say you wish to go towards northwest so you have northwest so you will turn the housing in such a way without turning the compass you will turn only the housing in such a way that this line or the travel arrow is coinciding with the northwest okay this is the first step now we will hold the compass in our hand in such a way that it is in the horizontal position okay or it is kept on a flat surface so that the compass needle can turn freely okay this is the second adjustment that you have to do the third step is that we have to turn the entire compass without turning the compass housing okay now we have to just turn the compass until the compass needle okay the needle is aligned with the lines inside the compass housing there are certain lines inside which are not visible here but when the needle aligns itself with the lines horizontal lines inside the casing that gives you an idea now this direction gives you the correct north west direction okay now let us come to one more important thing about magnets is that how many types of magnets are found so first is temporary magnet and the other is permanent magnet now temporary magnets are those substances which retain their magnetic properties only for very short period of time Okay, and they are usually made of iron, cobalt, nickel, okay, or their mixtures. Now, why these substances they have magnetic properties only for short duration? Because these materials behave like magnets only when they are near to a strong magnet. That means you have a material which is magnetic in nature and you bring another magnet which is very strong close to this material and if you keep this magnet for some time near it then this material also acquires certain magnetic properties okay now because it has acquired certain magnetic properties even if you remove this this will behave as a magnet but only for a very short duration of time and this material will lose its magnetic property 
the moment we remove the strong magnet okay then the other category is of permanent magnet which retains their magnetic properties for a long duration of time and they are generally made from mixtures of iron cobalt or nickel with other materials another category is electromagnets electro means current magnet means due to the passage of current certain material if they become magnet then those material will be known as electromagnet so an electromagnet is a special type of a magnet in which magnetism in the substance is produced by the flow of electricity now here let us say you have a material which is magnetic in nature okay it's a magnetic material now the moment current passes through these coils there are large turn of coils and the moment the current passes through them then slowly and gradually this substance will pick up certain magnetism and this material will be known as electromagnet because magnetism is induced or caused because of passage of current now we can change the magnetism the amount of magnetism in this electromagnet by changing the amount of electric current if more current flows then we have stronger magnet if small amount of current flows then we have a weaker magnet the important point about electromagnet is that it loses its magnetism the moment the current in the wire is switched off and the knowledge of electromagnetism is used in designing electric motors and door bells okay now let us discuss few questions based on what we have learned in magnetic fun with magnets chapter okay the north pole of a compass needle points to the north magnetic pole of the earth because that pole is a south pole okay the correct answer is a south pole if the poles of two magnets repel each other both poles must be south pole okay this may be correct it's not totally correct it may be correct we may have both pole as south and south so they are repelling but repulsion also takes place when we have north and north so this first is not totally correct similarly the option b is also not totally correct okay they are partly correct let's look at option c one pole is a south and the other is a north now if south and north they are brought closer then there will be attraction not repulsion now option d if we see both poles are of the same kind okay which is this case so option d is correct if a magnet is brought near a sus magnet suspended on a string then north pole attract each other which is wrong because north poles they will be repelling each other north poles attract the south pole this is correct south pole attract each other wrong north pole repels the south pole is incorrect option b is correct now let us look at the next exercise the north pole of a magnet will be attracted attracted to the pole of another magnet so two magnets will attract each other only if the poles are unlike 
so north pole will be attracted towards the south pole of other magnet okay next problem is the south pole of earth's magnet is located in geographical north okay i will show you a diagram now the south pole of earth south pole of earth's magnetic field okay the term is earth's magnetic field it is located at the geographical north this is geographical north pole okay now let us look at the next problem the relationship and interaction between electricity and magnetism is called electro magnetism okay the magnetism arising due to flow of current or electricity okay so electro and magnetism so the answer is electro magnetism next problem is very simple like poles of magnet repel each other now this is very very simple dash are objects that attract material containing iron and they always face the di same direction when moving freely we know it is magnet magnet has attractive property as well as directional property natural magnets are made of iron ore called magnetite okay with this i end the very very interesting and important topic of fun with magnets thank you